working. You know what I mean? I don't mind putting in the effort or the energy to, to, to be what I want to be instead of just looking for, you know, the quick fix. And, and that just frustrates me because it, I think it devalues the beauty and the depth of, of the experience of the music and then also of everybody that came before you. And you just look at it like, you know, it's just, it, it, it's not cracked, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it's like, you know, what came over that? You know what I mean? Like, you know, where, where did that mentality, you know, get us out of the Well, I, I just remember that, that reminds me, I, I used to be in radio uh, in St. Louis and I'd sit in with, um, with uh, the hip hop program director and listen to the phone calls of the rappers who sent in their CDs. And like, I'll never forget, there was this one dude who was like, come on, man, in fact, this was, this show how long ago, it was when uh, me and Rep One were both in St. Louis, and we were sitting in this office, and like, all we had to eat was apples. And that's, we'd have to sit there and listen to these phone calls. And he would sit there, and like, people would call in and be like, come on, man, like, I don't want to go back to jail. Like, that would be their pitch for playing this <laughs> is, is I don't want to go back to jail. And it was like, first of all, like if you're somebody who's that desperate, I'm not sure if I really want to call you back and have a meal. <laughs> you know, so it's just, I, I, I think that just goes into, you know, the instant gratification that we're talking about as far as like, <laughs> just things we wish would change a little bit to where people would actually be artists as opposed to, I got to get this money so I can get off the block. Just talking about um, the technology of all, what is your guys' uh, creative process? Like, when you got to do the stimulus package, was this thing when you guys got in the studio, and you just banged out records, or were you, was it a thing where, like, I know a lot of rappers now, when they have, they have a producer, even if somebody they work with exclusively, they're emailing Pro Tools sessions back and forth. Yeah, well, you know, what, what was your process like? You know, you live in Seattle, I live in Philadelphia, so it definitely was a lot of emailing okay. back and forth. But it was, a, it was a period of time where um, I flew to Seattle, and we, we knocked out about 10 or 15 records together, you know, so it's a little bit of both. Okay. Jake, you know, we, uh, we we haven't got to you yet, so, you know, uh, we talked about uh, Free's first rhyme. What was your first beat? Do you remember what your first <laughs> beat was? Uh, not not know, the I first beat you let somebody hear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the first I beat. I don't exactly remember what it was. I, I guess I can kind of remember that period of time, but not necessarily exactly what it was. Uh, I think when I was, like, 15, yeah, it must have been sophomore high school and uh, I got a job for the summer working this place called Taco Time and uh, saved up like five hundred dollars or something. Just literally went in the paper and just looked for a sampler. I didn't know what sampler or anything. I just knew I needed a sampler. So I just bought the first thing I saw and basically just sat down with that for the whole summer and just tried to figure it out. And uh, I just basically used like to try to put two loops together, okay. and that went on for a long time. <laughs> um, what kind of sample was it? Some sort of rolling. I want to say it was like a S10 or S220 or something. It was like a rack mount. Okay. But uh, I probably have the tapes of it somewhere. But you know, just going out and buying records because that's what you know Pete Rock did. Or, it is, so I wanted to be them, so I basically would try to find stuff that sounded like what they were doing. Do you still get a chance uh, to dig for records? Oh yeah, all the time. Like that's still a big part of your process? Yeah. Okay. Not even necessarily as much as making beats, I just like my records. Okay. And sometimes I like doing that a lot more than making beats. Um, <laughs> just, I don't know, it's just something I've been doing so long. Well, for the record store, every single week goes to Yeah. He, he doesn't go with the Nobody wants to go to the record store. Or, or wait the for like shop two or hours for no reason. Drop them off. <laughs> yeah, they, I could drop them off a lot of places. Or the, uh, what's another place? The, the, the flea markets. Flea yeah, this, man, just records in the most off the wall. And sometimes I go to a place and I'm like, why, why, why am I even here? Like the dirtiest like, right. thrift store, it just stinks. Like everybody in there is stinking. <laughs> and I'm looking for records. I'm like, why am I even here? Is this what am I doing? No, this is funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go, um, go, go digging for records with uh, one of the DJs here, DJ 2D, and we would go out and there would be these places, these antique shops, and they would have the Elvis records and the Beatles records. They'd have those under lock and key. These are records that have sold 10, 12 million copies. 
but then we'd find all these records on Volt and uh, so, you know Sun, all this crazy rare stuff, basically in a, in a 99 cent bin, yeah. just because they're like, well, it's not Elvis and the Beatles. Like when you go to half price books around here, they'll have this stuff on the lock and key. We're like, this way shoes is a pretty popular record. I'm pretty sure we can find this everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, I basically when I listen to a producer, whether what makes me like it or not is I wish I would have done the beat. So I hear something about it, I wish I, you know, I'm like, damn, why didn't I think of that? Um, so, you know, a lot of a lot of producers I hear, I try to take something from them. You know, if I hear some technique they did or whatever it is, I want to incorporate it into what I do. But uh, I kind of think like now, there's, there's still a lot of people that are good. You know, like, What's one of those records you heard you're like, man, I wish I done. Um, I know early on when I heard Group Home Superstar and that shit was <laughs> all I just kept, I just, like, how do you do this? Um, and it's crazy because, you know, I've, at this point, I've ended up being able to be friends with a lot of these people. So I, I grill them. Like, whenever I see them, I ask them about some random ass shit. Um, you know, what he sampled or what they recorded this on. Because I still want to go get that sound in my mind. Right. Uh, there's so many pieces like that. You know. Have you got to a point where, like, you know, I mean, so far you've met, I know you've worked with G Unit, you know, and, and, and you've been a part of Dr. Dre's camp. Um, is there someone out there where you're like, man, I, I still would love to work with them that you haven't met yet or, or just haven't had an opportunity to, uh, to work with? I don't know. I don't know at this point. I mean, I, I wish some of the records would come out more than anything. I've had a lot of chances to work with Dan or everybody, but you know, um, the politics that are at play on those levels is just so serious that uh, it's, it's really multi dimensional as far as what determines whether something comes out and what doesn't. Uh, as far as like a rapper, I mean, I still haven't done nothing with Jay Z. He probably did the number one. Rick Ross, another guy. Not obviously in Jay Z's category as far as legend or anything, but um, uh, yeah, <laughs> he's executive producer on that album. So whoever's on there, you can blame them for it. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, there's like definitely singers I want to work with, like Bilal, D'Angelo, oh, I, oh, yeah. I tried to remix. Uh, some new stuff from the Lyle's album, but it was just, it's out there. It's dope. I just couldn't even grasp what I, I was even supposed to be doing. <laughs> the music behind it, because the originals, just, they're, they're crazy. That's real.